It was morning. Cruelly woken by my own handiwork. My homemade Rochelle Salt piezoelectric crystal speaker. This is the story of how it all started. How you can do it too. First thing you'll need is a sound source that outputs to a speaker. The more powerful the amplifier, the better. All I had was this old clock radio, but at least it allowed me to experiment. At a minimum, you'll need to disconnect the two wires going to the speaker and make them accessible like I'm doing here. For the speaker, I'll use a piezoelectric crystal. This is a Rochelle Salt crystal that I made. These are two igniters that I got from barbecue lighters. This one came from a normal hand lighter. It doesn't work as well as the other ones anymore, but I think that's because I soldered some wires to it and I used too much heat. I used like a soldering gun with 300 watts of power. I have videos, which you can see on my channel, for both of uh, these showing how I extracted them from the lighters. This is a piezo buzzer, which I got from uh, the source here in Canada. It's also called a Shack in the US. Uh, it basically contains one of these. This I got from a gift card. Uh, it no longer works very well, but that's the same thing that's inside here. And this is a crystal earpiece, normally used for crystal radios. And that also has something similar to this inside. Okay, to electrically connect to my piezoelectric crystal here, I've got these two pieces of aluminum foil that I cut from normal kitchen aluminum foil. Simply put one on each side of the crystal. Um, but not so far that they touch the bottom face because I don't want them to short out. I might be putting this on a piece of metal. And I'll take this elastic. And voila! Okay, the first thing to do is to connect to the two wires that we're going to the speaker. And the first test involves using this can right here. It's just a normal can. I put an elastic band around it. And that's so that I can attach the Rochelle salt crystal to the top. And then I connect up the two wires. And then I plug it in. And notice it's rather underwhelming. You can't hear anything. Actually a little bit of sound, but it's extremely quiet. So to get it louder, I'm going to increase the voltage. And to do that, I'll use a transformer. This is a doorbell transformer, which you can get from places like Home Depot and Lowe's. Normally, you put 120 volts AC on this side, and they get something like 6 volts on this output side. But I'm going to do the opposite. I'm going to put the input, the radio, on this side, and then take the output to go to the crystal on this side. So I'll connect up the radio first. And then I'll connect some wires to the other side. I'll connect those to the crystal. And I'll plug it in. And right away you can hear some sound. So that's an improvement, but I can do better. This is a microwave transformer, which I got from a microwave oven. Now I'm not going to use these sets of wires down here that are on one set of turns. Instead, I'm going to use um, this big one right here. This is going to be the output. It has a whole bunch of very fine wires and, uh, for its turns and a very thickly insulated cable. That's the high voltage output, and I am going to use this high voltage output. And there's also this other single turn coil right here. This uh, are the two wire ends, and that's literally the coil right there. That red wire, one turn. And that's what I'm going to use. Now, there was only one um, wire connected to this thin one right here for the high voltage output. Um, so the other side I'm going to use ground. Now this radio doesn't really have a ground, but in the back here one of these two wires was uh, wiring that's on the outside of this one right here. So I'm going to pretend that's a ground. So to connect it all up uh, for the input, the input will go to the single turn coil. As I said, I, I need a ground. So what I'm going to do is I will connect 
Um, since there's only one wire coming from this coil right here, I'm assuming the other end of the wire is probably connected to the case of the transformer. I don't know that, but I'm going to assume that. So I'm going to connect a wire to one of the screws on the transformer, and then the other one to the input uh, side here that's going to those wires I pointed to in the back of the radio. Now for the output, I'm going to connect to that ground once again. and to that thick, thick wire. There we go. So I now got two ends here for connecting to my crystal. And then I'll plug it in. Much louder. <laughs> I don't even need to move the camera for this. That's a big improvement using that microwave transformer, which I got from that microwave over there. So here's a uh, piezoelectric igniter taken from a barbecue lighter. That's one I showed you earlier. The um, other wire is connected. The ground is connected to the bottom of the can. And as you can see, it's uh, quite loud. Uh, but there's a lot of tin noise, a lot of static noise, although the, the sound, the talking is fairly clear. So then I experimented with some paper cone arrangements uh, with the diaphragm at one side for the crystal to touch. Uh, the whole idea being that I think it's a Venturi effect. If you put the sound in on this side, then it comes out here amplified at a higher volume um, because of the increasing pressure as the sound wave travels through it. Uh, I think that's how it works. But the aluminum foil right here, I glued some aluminum foil, but that was too loose, I couldn't get it tightened enough, so that didn't work too well. So then I tried a piece of paper, uh, which gave a nice, good, you know, drum type diaphragm, good stiff. Um, the, vo the sound was real clear, better than the can, uh, but the volume was low. So then I switched to a, a aluminum flashing here, and in that case the volume was uh, higher. I'll demonstrate this one. So I've taped the Rochelle crystal securely on top there. So the idea there is that you could have put that in your ear, use it like an earpiece. That's the piezoelectric buzzer. And the best one by far is the crystal earpiece. Well, thanks for watching. Check out my YouTube channel, RimStar.org, for more videos like this. That includes one on how I removed a piezoelectric igniter from a barbecue lighter, one on how I make Rochelle salt crystals, and one on how to make a crystal radio from scratch. And don't forget to subscribe if you like these videos, or give a thumbs up, or leave a question or comment below. See you soon.